What's up YouTube, New Jersey Prepper here. Today I decided to give you guys a little look at my latest project. This is a Benron Titan cargo trailer and I'm converting into a stealth camper. Picked this up about six months ago new. It's a 2012, a little under 3,000 I paid. It's a single axle, you can tow 1,750 pounds. It's the truck I normally tow it with. Service truck. It's a V-Nose. It's uh, about 500 extra for that. I decided to get it because I towed this up and down the East Coast and I really wanted to save on gas mileage. The truck gets horrible gas mileage. And I used to tow around a little 4x8 utility trailer. A uh, cargo trailer that I used to use for utility. Landscape, stuff like that. And <clears throat> That trailer was horrible. It was like towing a parachute behind the truck. It's a lot of drag. It used to sway on the highway. I get this up a little bit above 80. Rides really nice. You barely even feel it's there. Standard two inch ball hitch. The spare tires mounted on the outside. I decided to go with two spares, although it's a single axle. Can't go wrong with having spare tires. It's uh, mounted on a H frame. Picked it up off eBay. Bolts onto the beams. Put a little lock on there so nobody can steal my spare. Uh, on the outside, it doesn't look like I did too much to it, but when I first got this thing, I looked underneath it and the wood was pressure treated, but it wasn't painted. So I decided to get a couple cans of Rust-Oleum undercoating. It sprays black, but it has some kind of uh, rubberized properties to it. So it's supposed to deaden sound and vibrations, things like that. So I painted the hole underneath of the trailer with that. A couple cans, two, three coats. Uh, the beams, the wood, the axle, everything. I also got a couple of gallons of Silver Seal for the roof. Rolled that on the roof, painted the whole roof. Wanted to try to save a little uh, heat in the summer. I didn't, I didn't want it to be as hot, you know, reflect some of the heat and just prolong the life of the roof. It's got the ramp door in the back. Decided to go with the ramp door this way if I'm camping or something like that. You can open up the ramp door and use it as a little patio area. I got a canopy that I set up over the ramp. Put a little table and stuff so at least you're just, you know, sitting on the ramp, you're not on the ground. Nice little feature. It's the second spare. Side door. Didn't have a window on it when I got it. I picked this up on eBay for about 80 bucks. It's a vertical slider, it's got a little screen. Just use a template and a jigsaw to cut the hole and screw that in. It's got water. It's got a temporary electric system. We'll get into that in a little bit. It's the drain for the water. This is the fill for the water. It's a gravity fill, so you can put a hose in there, or you can dump gallons or siphon or from a barrel, something like that. Locks. Put an external shower because I didn't want to take up too much room inside with a shower. It's also locks. The shower head pulls out. It's only cold water for now, but I left the connections open so I could run hot water if I did get a heater in the future. There's no propane connection, so I didn't get a heater yet. I was the only downside of the uh, V nose. You lose the tongue space where I would have put a box or a propane tank or battery box, something like that. Let's take a look at the inside. Prop this door. 
door open. It's almost finished inside. A couple little things I have left to do. But it definitely came a long way. It's fully insulated. When I first got it, I took off all the wood paneling. I glued a rigid foam insulation on the back of the paneling in between the spaces and the beams. And then I took the regular pink insulation, put a layer of that on top, and then covered the whole thing in a vapor barrier. And then put the wood paneling walls back on. And then I put this trim paneling on with the faux wood pattern. So it's fully insulated, it stays pretty warm. Uh, floor, it's a floating wood floor. It's supposed to be a travertine tile imitation. That looked pretty nice. Did all the curtains and stuff myself. Skirts for the sink, the bed. Went to a tailor. I originally bought the material on eBay. Went to a tailor, asked him to do it, gave him the dimensions, and he gave me something back that wasn't curtains. Not really sure what it was, but <laughs> the stitching was horrible. The sizes were off. I told him I needed one specific size curtain for a skirt for the sink, one for the bed. He wound up making me four curtains for the back and two of the exact same for the sink. How that got confused, I'll, I'll never know. So I went to Walmart, bought myself a little $80 sewing machine, watched a couple YouTube videos, sewed the curtains myself. Definitely learned a lesson with that. The bed's permanent. This is custom made. It's mounted to the floor, mounted to the back of the wall. It's two feet wide. 96 I believe long you can use it as a bench normally that's the mount I have the TV mounted up there you can use it as a bench or if it's just me in here I'll sleep on that like it is or if it's me and my girl and we're out camping pull this up I put these uh, plates on there it's for cabinetry chairs I believe actually you screw the wooden legs onto those and I fold this out and now this is a full queen size bed I ordered two foam mattresses custom fit to this that I'm waiting to get shipped and once that gets shipped I'll have a mattress one will go flat down on the top when the bench is folded away and the other will get propped up on the back for a little cushion and then when we're sleeping, I'll pull it out and put both of them flat down. These are the bolts for the spare tire mounts that you see outside. A couple anchor points. This is the ramp door. I should put a curtain rod to try to hide this bar and a spring mechanism back there. It's not too pretty to look at. So I just covered that up with a curtain and the back door. Still got to paint this back door. I'm going to hit it with some of that truck bed coating. I use that in the truck. That stuff's awesome. Just roll it on and it's really durable. It's also kind of rubbery. As far as water goes, sink's only connected to cold water. These curtains are just velcroed on there so I can get in here and work on something if I need to. It's a 42 gallon tank. Maybe a little overkill for this size trailer, but you can't go wrong having fresh water on hand. If you're out camping or something, the last thing you want to do is run out of water. Short flow pump. This is the uh, vent line for the air tank. This is the fill for the air tank. That's the drain back there. 
this here is the water output going into a little filter and then going into the short flow pump and then from there goes up this line to this valve I decided to use the flexible lines just so I wouldn't have to worry about cracking or freezing in the winter time when the water freezes maybe cracking a line or something like that this is my first project like this so I wasn't really sure what to expect but works out pretty good I haven't had any problems with the plumbing freezing so it goes up to this valve this valve splits it to the sink and then to the shower again there's no hot water so it's just cold water coming out of the shower just got a cap on the end of this so in the future if I do want to hook up the hot water I can and I got a cap on the hot water side of the sink too the drain for the sink just goes through this P-trap and then out through the floor I don't have a great water tank but it's okay because toilets uh, got its own self-contained tank so it's not like waste water goes through there dumping out it's just you know maybe me washing my hands brushing my teeth that's about it maybe a couple dishes mainly use paper plates stuff like that as far as heating and cooling goes I got one of those little ceramic portable heaters that I plug in the type you use in your house that keeps this thing plenty warm and uh, for the summertime I left myself enough space underneath here debating on either getting one of those little coolers little air conditioner type not a swamp cooler but uh, something similar to that it's on wheels and has a little exhaust port and water drain and I just run those connections out that back wall there either that or I can just go ahead and mount one the Coleman type on the roof but I'm not sure about the electricity and how all that would work so I'm gonna do some research on that Back. A little hand washing station, paper towels, soap, a little light, shelf in the V, a Frankie bar sink, pick that up for Lowell's, full size 1200 watt microwave, this thing is awesome, you can fit anything in there shelf extra storage toiletry cabinet I haven't filled any of this stuff up yet toilet paper holder now I don't have a permanent toilet mounted on here obviously so what I use is a little camping toilet when I'm camping it'll be set up here when I'm driving it'll be in the box underneath the bed usually right here here I keep a 96 quart Coleman cooler huge cooler works really good and I got a little uh, hair fridge here so normally what I'll do when I'm packing up the trailer I'll put all the food in the big cooler underneath there pack it up with ice and then when I get to the location I'll take everything out of there what fits in the fridge will go in the fridge and everything else will stay in there and I got a little portable ice maker plug that in and use that to make ice and keep filling up the cooler with ice and then put the drinks in the fridge and stuff like that uh, the electric isn't permanently finished yet I have, I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna do about that for now I just have a uh, little access on the outside the door here and this just flips up you put your extension cord through there and you slide this down you can leave the extension cord in there from there the extension cord I got to go into a little surge protector like this for now so that cord would come in here from outside plug into this and then that'll give power to these outlets from there I can plug in the uh, sink pump and the microwave and the lights and stuff like that TV ceilings all vinyl this is 
four sheets of vinyl. It's liquid nailed onto the ceiling. And then brads underneath the trim molding just to help keep it in place. Ceiling vent. Got two 12 volt lights that I put in here that are connected to the wiring of the trailer, the brake lights and all that stuff. So when it's connected to the truck and I got my four flat on, I can just hit this little button and I'll have light. <clears throat> when I'm camping, I'll plug these lights in. That one, and that one. This lights it up pretty bright. I'll plug those in and have the generator running or the inverter from the truck. If the truck's running, I can power stuff in here like that. In the future, I do plan on getting solar panels and making a couple little upgrades, but I was on a limited budget when I started this project. And I don't really know too much electricity, so I decided to leave that for last. I figured I could always run conduit on the outside of the wall or that cable hider like you see there, something like that. Normally when I'm driving around, I got stuff on this bench here, water barrels and uh, Rubbermaid totes, things like that, sleeping bags, bedding, strap that in. Against the back door here, I got a couple anchor points. I put stuff here, storage in between the bench and the door, strap it in, table, chairs, fishing rods, stuff like that, and then just cover up everything with the curtain. So you don't have to look at it. Makes it look much neater. And the curtain also does a pretty good job of covering up this spring assembly for the back door. Those are the bolts for the uh, mount for the spare tire on the outside. A couple more anchor points. Let's take a look from the uh, back door open. these up and you just pull this down. Makes a nice little patio area. Use a couple of wooden blocks to prop it up so it's level. I'm gonna have a table or something set up on there. I said I got that canopy that goes over top. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.